Hello again, guys. Let's check this problem out. This is a really interesting problem because it's uh, relating the material that we are learning with biomechanics, the body biomechanics. And the only, the only problem is that you have to know how to pick up the clues and what they are really asking you to do here. It says currently 85% of the neck injuries are caused by rear end collisions. To elevate this problem, the automobile seat restraints has been developed to provide the pressure contact with the cranium, dynamic test, distribution of the load of the cranium is given here. Uh, it's a parabolic distribution, determine the equivalent resultant force and its location measured from the point A. Up to that point, it's like, you know, those old Charlie Brown movies that when the parents talk, the kids, the only thing that they listen is that's basically the thing. This is the part that you are interested in. And then you have this weird distribution over there. But if you rotate that and you put it like this, this is exactly the same problem. And it's exactly the same thing that we have been doing. I already solved a couple of problems in integrals. So basically, this is what you have over there. This is the distribution of the load. And the problem is just asking, forget about the shape of the head. Don't lose your head for the for the head. So the only thing that you are interested in is in this little curve here with these values and these values here and the equation is provided at this point. If we, if we want to calculate the resultant force, which is the first thing that the problem asks, what do you do? You just take the area of that shape. But because it follows that equation, the area is going to be just the integral of that equation. Between what limits and what limits? Between 0 and 0 0.5. So the resultant force will be, this is going to be, I mean, you already know how to do integral, so this is just, ah, I'm missing the dx, by the way. 12, when you integrate that, it's going to be 12x. And when you integrate this, it's going to be 2x to the third divided by 3, multiplied by 12, so it's going to be 24 divided by 3, which is 8x to the third, and you have to evaluate that between 0 and 0 0.5 because those are the limits. You put 0 0.5 here, this is 6. You put this 0 0.5 here, this is 8, 8 times 0 0.5 cubed. At the map, 7 pounds. First question, solve. Now, what is the second question? The second question is find the... I even forgot the second question. Let me see, let me read it again. You see, I was just focusing in the one, 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 one. Determine the equivalent resultant force and its location measured from the point O. So if I want to know the location of that force, basically what I have to find is a moment that produces the same effect. Remember what we did in the past? What we did in the past is just we needed a resultant force placed at certain location, which I don't know, I'm going to call that location D. That produces the same effect as all these other forces represented by the integral. Okay. The moment generated by this curve, taken as individual differential of forces, will be each one of these x at any point multiplied by the differential of force provided by this equation. So the moment generated by the forces, let's say let's say like that, at the point A is just going to be the integral of the differential of forces, but the differential of forces is this one here, 12 times 1 plus 2x squared, multiplied by each one of the distances, which is x, which is x dx between 0 and 0 0.5. Remember, this is the differential of force, and this is just the distance, x. That's it. 
That's the moment generated by all the individual differential of forces over there. When you solve that, that's going to be basically 12, uh, 12x, 12x here, times x. So this is going to be 12x squared divided by 2, 12x squared divided by 2, which is 6, I know. And this is going to be 24 x to the third when uh, when you when you integrate that this x squared times this x is going to be x to the third so you put x to the third divided by four so it's going to be 24 x to the four divided by four and this is going to be just the moment generated by the curve between zero and zero point five let me see how much is that uh, let me see how much is that. I'm going to evaluate that. Uh, this is 6 times 0.5 squared. 6 times 0.5 squared plus this is 6 because 24 divided by 4 times 0.5 to the fourth. That's going to be 1.875. 1.875. One point eight seven five. One point eight seven five. Did pound or pound foot is the same thing. And now this is the moment that these forces are creating. Now if I place the resultant force, if I place the resultant force I a distance at a distance d has to produce the same moment of one point eighty seven five over there. And the resultant force, I know it, because I calculated before, this is 7, so D is going to be equal to 1.875 divided by 7. When you put here feet pound and you put in the bottom pound, this pound and this pound are going to cancel out, and you will get 1.875 divided by 7, 0 0.2679 feet. Final resolution, resultant force 7 pounds, located at a distance of 0 0.629 with respect to the point A. Problem solved. See you next time, guys, or you'll see me next time. Thank you for watching and thank you for learning. Have a good day.